Jay, well, thanks for taking time out of your busy day Not a problem. to uh, come and interview with us. So, could you describe to me uh, quickly what your role entails? Okay, um, well, mine's a new role this year. Uh, it's kind of different to the rest, Vice President of Engagement. Um, basically, the basic gist of it is to engage students in all the work that DUSA does. Um, so, whether that be societies, whether that be campaigns run by the SRC or the executive, whether we are I don't know, AGM coming out next week, whether we're trying to get students to come to that, whether we're trying to get motions in, whether we're trying to get people involved in the SRC, just trying to get students involved in everything that we, the pastoral side, do um, as, as a student's association. Okay, so what, what were your main responsibilities, would you say? Okay, uh, again, kind of involving students in everything that DUSA does. Um, I have particular um, responsibilities in our bylaws for, uh, in terms of societies, helping the VPSA. Um, with uh, getting students involved in ex extracurricular activities, is the way it's put. Um, helping the deputy president uh, increase social and social integration um, and pastoral integration within the university. So on DUSA, whether that's uh, getting students involved with uh, the SRC or or elections, uh, as, uh, in terms of SRC elections or DUSA elections. And uh, yeah, it's good <laughs> <answer. Okay. laughs> what else? <laughs> So, could you give us a quick recap, recap <coughs> of the policies that got you elected? Yep. Um, ensure uh, that all students' opinions and voices are heard. Um, campaign for a more effective uh, exam system and uh, in increase engagement of all students in uh, DUSA activities. I don't know if that's quite the exact wording, but it's the gist of the word there. Okay. Okay, so could you give us a brief account of what you see to be your biggest personal achievements this year? Achievements or achievement? Well, either. Okay. Um, my biggest personal achievement um, might sound really petty, um, but it's actually to do the SRC. And um, I slaved over these information packs for the SRC, as, as some people know. Uh, it took me ages and ages, and it might seem really petty, but I don't do well with that kind of thing. Uh, I don't do well with like writing papers and, and trying to think, that, and that might seem really petty, but that was my biggest achievement this year. Um, I also think that. I suppose helping helping different people in different roles is kind of there's, there's so much that I've helped people with in terms of helping Anna with societies, helping Rachel with elections. That I just I just think that that kind of that all kind of contributes to everything I've done. I don't have one as such really. I suppose. Okay, well let's go the other way. Okay. What was your biggest failure this year? I do have a biggest failure, and I, I, I it was actually I took on the challenge of trying to recruit a university challenge team for the university. Um, yeah, um, <laughs> and it was actually really difficult um, at the end um, due to me being off all the time and uh, time constraints and the university um, just with time and stuff. It didn't really work well, and I really regret that because there were so many keen people. And that was one of that's my big that's one of my biggest regrets so far is that actually I couldn't put a, I couldn't help put a team from the university forward because we did win it in the seventies. We haven't won it since, and I thought maybe we had a chance this year if we put a team, but unfortunately not. Okay. Now we're going to move on to the questions that are personally <coughs> tailored for you. Okay. There's been a wee bit of con controversy about the fact that you, as an exec member, ran okay. the campaign for Brian Cox and that it was unopposed. Uh, why do you think that no one else put a candidate forward? <coughs> Okay, well one thing to clear up is that I didn't run it as an exec member, I ran it as a student. Um, I, I really believe in Brian. Um, I, I've worked with Brian throughout like the kind of half year that I've been in office. Really pa he's really passionate about students, really, really passionate about issues and will act upon them. Um, so I ran as a student, as a non sabbatical member, um, as a student, not as, a, not, as a, um, not as an exec member. What was the second part of the question, sorry? Why do you think <coughs> that no one else put any candidates? I think that, <coughs> I think that um, we're quite in a lucky situation in that we have a rector. A lot of universities in Scotland don't have a rector anymore, just the kind of five agents. Um, I suppose that whether I know myself and I know my friends, and certainly tried to try to contact people, um, but it's again of finding, finding the people who are passionate about the university, finding people who are who are, want to be involved. And Brian does really want to be involved, and that's why certainly I, I ran his campaign because he is really keen about the university. I think, and I think that's great. Um, I don't know really why a lot of other nominations weren't put in. Um, it could be that some students didn't get the message. It could be that some students um, didn't really particularly know much about it or want to know much about it. I, I, that, sounds, that sounds pretty negative. 
but um, I think that there is some students out there, not a large number, but a small number that, that are here for university and university only. And I think that, yeah. Sorry, I don't know where I was going with that thought. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, but do you think maybe it's because it's such like a complicated <coughs> process? Do you not think that um, maybe that it's I don't think it is a complicated process. I think that um, it's pretty simple. It's like any, anything else. You have to find 50 people to support the nomination. But you need to like contact their agent and stuff, don't you? In terms of, I suppose, yeah, um, my friends contact people directly. Managed to find some, managed to find some email addresses of some people. Um, I think that possibly that, yeah, but um, but then it doesn't have to be someone famous. It could be anybody. That's important to note. Like I think that um, it's so often overlooked that um, that it was people like really Lorraine Kelly, Fred Macaulay, Stephen Fry, yeah. so Peter Ustinov and Brian Cox are all big big names. But it doesn't have to be. It could be anybody at all, as long as they're not a student or member of staff of the university. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Good answer. Okay. So your first policy was to increase engagement of <coughs> all students and do set activities. Yep. It's quite ambiguous. Like, kind of doesn't. It's yeah, not really specific. Okay. Could you go yep. into it a little bit more? Um. Basically, um, as the role of the vice president of engagement, um, engage more students. It was a very broad, very uh, campaign policy, deliberately though, um, because I think that there's no there's no one way to engage students in the work that DUSA does. I think that there's a number of ways, and I hope I've done some of that. Um, I've I've worked with Anna and societies. I've worked with Rachel, especially in SRC elections, getting people involved, getting the word out there, getting. I suppose just when they came into when SRC were elected, that actually getting people getting. Their, their faces out there getting people knowing um, it didn't and I, I, I do take a lot of responsibility for this didn't work too well um, at the time um, we found that some people weren't interested um, in the SRC um, that it's always difficult to get the name out there because um, the student representative council doesn't exactly have a ring to it um, that student, that, and it, it gets really important and that they're absolutely it's students have brought issues but I think there could be more more broad and more made of it this year. Yeah. How exactly have you gone about, you know, increasing the engagement? Like, um, okay. A number of things, I suppose, really. Um, just helping go to things. We did a, I did a stall at Welcome Week. Um, the chaplains every day. Um, getting new students, I think that's important that they get new students when they come right in the door. Although they're bombarded with lots of information that DUSA does make a name for it. Not only um, coming out at night and uh, probably getting very, very drunk. But actually that we do provide support and advice to students. Um, help, again with Anna, I've helped to s certain societies kind of get more, st look at the way that you get more students involved. Um, unfortunately not been too successful. Um, <laughs> unfortunately a few things this year have hit, because it's a pretty new role, I've got, I've got a little groundwork to work on. So I've, I've hit some, some brick walls as University Challenge, as an example I suppose of that. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to think of what else. Uh, off the top of my head. Sorry, it's quite a <laughs> while back. Um, with SRC, just kind of getting going, to speaking to lecturers, getting the name out there, um, making sure that things were things were up and about, and and, and helping any SRC member that wanted to to try and make their name out there. A lot of Facebook pages, etc. Yeah. Okay. Uh, your second policy is quite big as well. How? Yep. Have you gone about ensuring students' points of views are always acknowledged? Okay, I think that there's 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 two kind of answers to this. Um, first is from a whole executive point of view, and um, we've invested a lot, and certainly like the likes of the media outlets, to try and get to try and get the students' opinions heard. Um, we know that all the media outlets have been very good at that this year, um, keeping students um, engaged and uh, and trying to get their, get their points of view heard. Um, I've written in the Magdalene. Um, again, it's a bit about what, what the exec have done. It's only 100 words. Can't get that much in 100 words. But I've, I always say students can contact me or any member of the exec. We're always open to, to, to whatever your problem is or want to tell us something. And I, I suppose like, the kind of third thing is that issues have been brought to the SRC this year a lot more than they were last year. Um, I don't put that down to me at all. Um, I don't put that down to any member of the exec. I think that some students will be passionate about issues. But I think that we've been there to help in terms of bringing motions and, and kind of stepping stepping stones to help students get involved more that way. Um, and opinions have been heard, especially in things like um, Medusa posters, um, issue that was brought up. And we've got four motions for the AGM, which we had none last year, So, um, which is next week. Plug for it next Tuesday, 6 o'clock, Carnegie's week. <laughs> um, 
uh, the, basically, um, I think that, yeah, we just all did a little bit. Since, uh, since opinions heard. You're talking a lot about engaging with students, yep. but um, it has been noted that the exec Facebook page was taken down. Yep. Why was that? The exec Facebook page was taken down because it had 50, 50 odd likes, when our Deuce of the Union page has 13,000 likes. Um, it was decided that basically um, the that we we're going to change our Deuce of the Union Facebook to um, include much more pastoral activity. Um, we felt that we'd rather hit an audience of 13,050 people. Um, and a more effective way to do this is to do it through the, the Deuce of the Union Facebook. It's actually, fair dues. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And what about the blog, the exec blog? Is, is, yep. Wasn't it meant to be updated weekly? And it no was. One, no one really no, has at all. It, it was, yeah. I think we've all done it once or twice, maybe. Um, basically, we trialled it to start with. It did get the impact we wanted. So we decided as an exec that... Um, that we'd uh, we'd update it around big events, um, so for example, I know the VPCC at the end of the week is going to update it um, with the announcement of the new media managers, and the ONSEC is going to update it when the AGM um, it was updated around the time of the rector elections, probably by be updated at the time of the DUSA elections, it was updated around the time of the SRC elections. It's more <coughs> excuse me, it was found as a more effective way of engaging students instead of instead of something every week. Um, something around our, our big, big, big events that just is, or big campaigns that just is involved in. Okay, and finally, your uh, your final policy. Yep. Well, not finally, but your final okay. policy was uh, to improve um, your kind of exam results systems, was it? Yep. Like that? Yep. Um, and Ian McKinnon, he had a similar policy. Yep. So did you two work together, or was it just one of you? We did. No, we did both work together. We both kind of uh, established contact and worked together at um, a few meetings. Um, the final result, the end meeting with uh, the director of, of student operations, Laura Jones, I couldn't attend as well. I put that credit into Ian going and talking to her. But we certainly worked like I worked with the DUSA for it, um, gained support from members of the university staff and, and students, and um, kind of worked equally on it. Um, yeah. Okay, and what, what have you achieved? Uh, oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Um, uh, yep, e vision was working. Uh, there's going to be no more problems with it, we've been promised. Um, <coughs> we did try and look at emailing it out to. Um, Try and get email results out, but unfortunately, it isn't possible at the moment with the current eVision system. Um, it's very complicated. I don't pretend to understand at all how it works, um, but it's it's not. We're told it's not possible at the moment. Okay. Okay. So, what can we expect to see from you for the rest of the year? Okay. Um, I suppose a few things. Uh, basically, one of my roles is to engage with those who are underrepresented um, within within DUSA and the university. And it so often is it's put together three categories. Uh, international, postgraduate and mature. Basically, I want to see an increased involvement of those three categories especially within within the work DUSA does and the university. Um, um, there's different ways I want to do about this. Um, I suppose international students working with international student society, working with international advice team, um, to try and look at Anything that DUSA, that, that we can offer, I suppose to all three categories actually, anything that we can offer from, excuse me, a DUSA point of view that, that will help students get involved um, and help students get involved and kind of want to be involved. Um, so often times time students um, maybe put off because we think we're a nightclub, we're, we're surely, purely a commercial entity, we're not, we're really not. And I think it's getting that message out there to them. I suppose for the rest of the year as well, I think that it's quite scary because thinking about it, we've only got four and a half months left. It seems like time's flown by already. Um, I suppose that the times I want to look at student volunteering as a whole within the within the kind of within DUSA. Um, I, I I took up a post within uh, an internship within the student uh, services, um, doing a bit of a volunteer. But I want to kind of incorporate DUSA into that as well. It's really important. I think we don't celebrate. And and, uh, and kind of publicise volunteering enough within the university, within the university as a whole, not just DUSA. But I think that DUSA can make steps as well. But uh, and I don't really know what else. I think what else comes up. I'm sure something will come up that and something that'll catch my eye. Um, I am working with student uh, operation, uh, student services, um, and uh, the University of Dundee Sports Union, and a project called Healthy Bodies, Healthy Minds. It's about getting students to participate in sport. And, uh, and and talking about mental health, and I think that something that we've made we've made I would say baby steps in at the moment, <coughs> but something I'd like to progress in more further. We're not, I'm not sure how we're going to quite do that. That's we left to discuss later in the week. But 
I think there's a lot of scope and a lot of things that, um, and again, helping any member of the exec who wants to engage students is, is, is important. Okay. Uh, is there anything specific that you've learned from being in this position? <coughs> Do you think you've come on as a person? Uh, yes, I think I've, I've learned a lot. <coughs> um, I've certainly developed a lot of my, my skills, communication. Um, one thing I have learned that this is not this is not a warning to anybody considering running for non sabbatical positions in the future, but it's a lot of work. Um, you make it um, as much work as you want, as they say, but I found this year there's a lot of work. Um, you're expe kind of not expected, but want to be involved in it. At times it's too much, and that um, one thing I've learned is, I suppose, time management. Um, the first semester, I really didn't take a step back when I should have, in terms of essays and exams. And this semester, I'll definitely be doing that. Um, yeah. Okay, and if you could give one piece of advice to the next VP engagement, what would it be? One piece of advice, um, I suppose, time management, time management, time management. Absolutely keep your time management really strict. Make sure you make sure you make time for 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 uh, for university work, for other work, for for friends and a social life. It often encroaches. Sometimes my role at, at the visit days, etc., encroached onto Saturdays, and <coughs> and it kind of kept going. It kept going, and you don't want your whole weekends, etc., taken up. But it's fun. That I hope the next person enjoys it. I've certainly enjoyed it so far. Okay. Okay, so you've seen our video of us yep. interviewing the students. What's yep. your first reaction? Uh, very interesting, actually. Um, I think that yeah, it's been that's not a, not a shocking response, but it's a little a little bit surprised by the number of people who didn't know what we did. Um, I think that it's certainly, and in fact, I know it's not a new problem. Um, they've had it since. 16, 17 execs so far have had this problem. Uh, I think there's there's no one way to tackle it. Um, I don't I don't really I don't really know um, where to go. Uh, I think that certainly I think I think we could do a little more to put our face out there. Um, I think that um, yeah I don't really know if you. Uh, I think that yeah. Um, we, as I say, we could do more to put we could do more to put our face out there, but I feel that um, that it'd be <sighs> sorry, kind of deadly silence. Yeah, if you other sorry, I don't know where I was going with that okay. at all. Do you think that there is a need to increase your profile, or do you think it's all right that people don't really know who you guys are? I think there's definitely a need to increase your profile. I think that absolutely. Um, I think that every execs come in with the, the the notion that yeah we're gonna we're gonna get all students knowing what we do. Um, I know that certainly I I thought that personally when I came into office. Um, but as I say, not a new problem. Um, I don't think I don't know how more we could how more we could get students knowing who we are. Things have been tried done so like surgeries. Um, exec years go to the exec on the road, going around places around campus trying to get their face known. Um, Sorry, excuse me. I don't. I I couldn't honestly think off the top of my head what else we could do, except make, put big pictures of us in the front of the building, which I don't think would be very. Uh, <laughs> no, that might be. A bit yeah, maybe a bit much. Okay, when we polled the large majority of yeah, students, okay. well, not do that question. No, do that question. Don't worry. Um, I think this is the main one, and then we're done. Okay, well, it's kind of kind of. I just yeah, I'll, say, I'll I'll reinstate. I'll do. I'll just yeah, whatever. Yeah, it it's fine. How do you think the current <coughs> future exec could increase the exec's profile? Um, I think that yeah, we we do. We absolutely do. Uh, we need to get our faces out there. No, but how? Uh, I, yeah, <laughs> I'm leading to that. Um, I think that uh, as I said on top of my head, I can't think of one way. I think that we need to be we need to be more proactive and we need to celebrate our successes and show our failures more often. I don't think we do that enough. Um, whether that is through something like the blog, or whether it's through I don't know, v v blogs, or whether it's more of the Magdalen, whether it's more we put out our own stuff, um, more on our website. I, I don't really know. And there's not one answer to the question, um, as such. But I think that it is definitely important that that we do try and make the effort much more um, and express it a lot more, and um, that we do get our faces out there. I think that. We tr we have tried. We tried at the beginning of the year. I think we, um, 
that we didn't want that we didn't in the end um, make it was successful. But I think that absolutely try much more. Okay, thanks very much, AJ. <laughs> Thank you. The very last question is uh, if you could. Oh, hello there. Sorry, no, it's just this. Oh, I was going to say, I saw Tiki do something. I didn't quite know what she was doing. The very last question was, uh, what are your plans for next year? When you finish this role, what are you going to do personally, if you don't mind sharing? No, not at all. Um, I'm standing for election as an independent member of University Court. Um, I plan to uh, focus a lot more on my studies next year, uh, for one thing. I, I, they've been slightly, not slightly neglected, but slightly put to one side, as it is, um, a bit more than I should have um, and I suppose that I really want to look for for more experience in kind of in kind of my area of work, which is politics, and maybe doing some work with with local political groups um, as well. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Thank you very much. Thank you.